that, I don't think I've ever been asked that question before. And look at what came out of me. That's amazing. I'm Rajni Laraka. My pronouns are she, her, and I am an author and a doctor, and I live in the Boston area. Uh, I came to writing for children relatively late in my life. I, um, I used to write a lot when I was younger, but then I knew I wanted to go into medicine and become a doctor. So I kind of put everything else um, aside when I entered medical school and residency, and then I had kids. And so... <laughs> So I didn't come back to writing until about 11 years ago uh, when I started writing again. And maybe two years after that, I started thinking that maybe I wanted to be published. Um, so yeah, it's been a long journey, uh, but now I have a bunch of books in the world. I have, I think, nine in the world and more coming. So I feel very fortunate. I wrote some books early on in my life. I wrote a picture book and it illustrated it when I was very little. I don't remember anything about it other than that it was about little black and white birds near a marsh, but there was no point to that. And then also in second grade, I wrote a longer, um, a longer piece called Run for Your Life. It was terrible. That's okay. There was a girl in my class who wrote an amazing picture book and illustrated it. It was, it was just delightful. And I thought this person should be published right now and I should definitely not. <laughs> but that's okay because it just goes to show that you can start off writing stuff that is not so great. And then maybe someday you can write stuff that is better and somebody might wanna publish it. As mentioned before, I did love school. So I had a lot of fun writing even within just kind of regular assignments. But um, in terms of creative writing, I always felt like that kind of writing was just for me, which kind of inherently made it fun. So um, I was not a very consistent diary keeper, but sometimes I would write in a diary and I would write something to myself, just observations uh, to myself that I thought were fun. Uh, a lot of times uh, when I was a little bit older, my friends and I would rewrite song lyrics so that they applied to our lives, which I thought was really fun. And that structure of having a song and knowing what the tune and the rhythm was like uh, was very helpful. Um, sometimes I would uh, write letters to characters in books just for me, just for fun, or like write a little note to myself about why I loved this book. And then, you know, the other thing uh, that I will mention is that so I had relatives far away in India and ha I had a bunch of cousins who were around my age and we used to write letters to each other. I mean, this was pre-internet, pre-cell phone, pre-WhatsApp, all that stuff. So we would write actual letters and I would write like these 10 page monstrosities about the minutia of my life. And I'd be like, oh, and then we did this and then we went did that. And then here's my friend, she likes this. It was so funny. And I remember my mother looking at me one night going, what are you writing about? And I'm like, oh, you know, all the important stuff. <laughs> so I think letter writing was one of the first times I had a lot of fun writing. When I was a child, I loved all kinds of books. Like I read everything I could get my hands on. Uh, and I read, you know, fiction and nonfiction. I read comic books. I read comic strips. I read kind of everything. But I will say that I never saw a book um, about somebody like me. And uh, when I went to India and visited my relatives, I didn't see any books there about people like me because those were characters who lived in India who, and that was not me. But despite this, I read about all kinds of people, empathized with all kinds of characters and learned a lot about the world and what it is to be a person in it. Um, and when I was an adult, I finally read a book where I realized, I recognized myself in the character in that they had a lot of the same experiences that I did, had my same background. Um, and it was world changing, right? It was, it was just completely um, mind blowing to me. And I was like, oh, 
this is what it is to see yourself in the pages of a book. So I think that everybody and especially every child deserves to see themselves reflected in the pages of a book. But I will also say that you can read about people who aren't exactly like you and still enjoy, empathize, and learn from that experience and see parts of yourself reflected in that experience, right? It doesn't have to be your exact experience for you to understand what's going on. And in fact, that's kind of why we read in the first place, right? Is to have experiences that aren't our experiences and learn from them. So that to me is kind of the fundamental reason why we need to have diversity in literature, especially for children, because we need to see ourselves reflected, but we also need to read about experiences that are not exactly about us so that we can expand our minds and our hearts. So my best advice for young writers would be to read a lot, I mean, I know everybody says that, but it's true. And read widely, like read the stuff you love, but try some stuff that you may not be sure that you love because you might be surprised. Um, and then, I mean, the other big advice, of course, is to write, but to write things that make you happy, like write, like lean into the fun stuff. You don't have to make it a chore. This is for you to express yourself. So um, let everything else be a chore, but let writing be the happy place where you go to live. Mm -hmm.